quite honest with you, I just don't feel comfortable at a Walmart or a Cracker Barrel. I know a lot of you do that. Um, that's not me. Wow, that was tight. That's why I don't drive the, the truck and the RV. Well, yeah, make sure, uh, say a prayer because we're on storm watch. We're heading to Bucky's. Are you overwhelmed yet? <laughs> Sensory overload. say why are you guys stopping at RV parks you know for one night well to be quite honest with you location it's easy get off get on I'm not trying to search for a Walmart and to be quite honest with you I just don't feel comfortable at a Walmart or a Cracker Barrel I know a lot of you do that um, that's not me we just had that conversation because right on the corner is a Cracker Barrel and there was a Walmart and we're just like, I don't know if we would get a good night's sleep or not. Just worrying about uh, somebody taking something out of the back of the truck or. If you're watching this for the first time, you know that's not my style. Because if I was in a Walmart parking lot, this is what, this is the way I will sleep. <laughs> they did have surveillance and security and we came in after hours so that worked out perfect they had everything ready for us so it was a good stop for us because we left Carlsbad cavern area yesterday and today we're actually heading to um, it's gonna be Aubrey Texas but we're actually heading to see friends who live in Prosper Texas who we raised our kids together in Big Bear Lake California and then they left Big Bear I want to say four years ago and we haven't seen them since then so it'll be a lot of fun to catch up with them and see how they're doing and we want to spend the weekend there we're excited about this park coming up it's called Shady Creek RV Resort and it looks super clean and we are gonna catch up on our laundry and some sleep they actually have a gym we might be able to work out and um, I'm looking forward to it just kind of breathing for two nights we're gonna be there and then we're heading off to Waco Texas and if you all know and you watch HGTV that's where Chip and Joanna are and the silos and just looking forward to kind of like splurging and getting pastries and coffees okay. and so let's make shopping the <laughs> only reason why we're going this direction is because we're going to go to the Magnolia yeah. That is the only reason why we go in this direction. Oh, well, I shouldn't say that because we are, this trip is about family and friends. So, yeah, but, well, 
I know, but we're, we're actually seeing family and friends, but then we have to go south another two hours to go to Magnolia. So after this stop, yeah, he's, he's going out of his way for me. But we're excited about the RV, or no, well, campground we're staying at, Airport Park in Waco on the lake. Should be really nice. Yeah, make sure, uh, say a prayer because we're on storm watch. Yeah. We've been beating the uh, tornadoes and the hailstorms and the thunderstorms so far. It's been pretty miraculous. Uh, maybe not the wind so much, but yeah, uh, windy. we've been able to um, avoid them so far. So, Ooh, yeah, so far. Not so sure good. if we're going to be able to avoid this next one. So, yeah, we're prepared. We're watching. We're keeping our eye out. And it's kind of interesting because we are California people all our lives, now Arizonans. I think that's how you say it. See, I'm not even a true Arizonan if I can't figure that out. Uh, but back there, you know, in the West, we don't have to worry about where there's a storm shelter. And in the instructions yesterday, there was instructions like where the storm shelter was, go to the bathhouse, it's a brick building, um, you know, you would be safe there. And so very different traveling for us. Um, I was glad to see that because we were just due south of a tornado that hit Springfield. Sp Springdale, Springdale, Arkansas. Arkansas, and they had some devastation. So we have been traversing the United States, and we have traveled so far 1,219 miles. Woo! And our average gas miles per gallon? 10.4. Not not the best because of the wind, but I know that it's like whenever we travel it's Continue all about on wind. East for 100 miles. But I do know that when uh, there's no wind and I got flat ground it's 15 miles a gallon. into Shady Creek RV Park in uh, Aubrey, Texas. Ready to do CrossFit. And boy, we have been through the ringer the last hour just with the traffic and the construction that's going on in, I guess it would be the Fort Worth area and north of Fort Worth. Wow. It's an example of growing pains. Yeah, well, a lot going on. I guess a lot of people moving here, they have to expand freeways and building new homes and putting in new sewer systems is crazy. So we're just happy to be here, making it safe and sound. I think we were supposed to be here in a little over three hours and it's been four. So um, that tells you how much traffic there was. But here we go, pulling into Shady Creek RV Park. Here's our spot for the night, Site 141 at Shady Creek. We unhooked. We're gonna unload because we're gonna go to dinner tonight in Prosper. And that's pretty nice. We got grass in the front there. We're gonna read the rules, see what it says. And I think we're gonna be happy here for a couple nights. Heading to Bucky's. Let us know in the comments if you guys have been to Bucky's before, or if you even know what the heck we're talking about. Um, I don't know if I even heard of it, but we had uh, some friends that had the pajama bottoms, Kenny, and so we're heading to Bucky's to find some pajama bottoms, <laughs> Bucky pajama bottoms. Let's um, let's see what this is all about. What what it's all about is wall to wall people they got strict rules no 18 wheelers nice so where's the rv parking so this one in particular didn't really have any rv parking per se but we found a great spot along the edge here in the corner 
There's dog grass over there. Traveling with dogs, boy, I tell ya. We always have to think of them first. That's, that's all we ever do. <laughs> well, that's why we bought the trailer, right? It's a dog trailer. It's a dog's life. So you need deaf. Are you trying to buy, you could look, you could get it right there. In the... well, well, my deaf is full, so. Oh, okay. Put my last, so all right. All right, here we go. Look at both these. Hold on, we gotta take a selfie too. Are you overwhelmed yet? <laughs> Sensory overload. Holy Toledo. Okay. This is amazing. You could spend hours in here. This is like a buck tooth Walmart. A good price? It's $12.98, but I think I'm gonna get the blue deaf instead. Oh, nice. $12.98 for that, and then $14.60 for that. Sounds good. Nothing but trouble. I'm just, I'm just not seven feet tall. What do you think? What you gotta do is do this. Go like this. <laughs> there, oh. Yeah, yes, okay. I, I think it's a perfect And then fit. you can get these. We'll just be the beauty and the beast. The beauty on the beach. <laughs> well, I know who the beauty is, I guess I'm the beast. Everything you can possibly imagine. It's just crazy. really wouldn't mind a pair now these are little kid ones oh I thought they were capris oh no there you go I'm not sure what stands up to here this is how I'm supposed to go <laughs> what do you think I think you could stand out there and make some money babe some pictures just try it on for size I'm all caught up in no, this. No, you can't. It it doesn't what do you think? all the way down. I I think you need to put it back. Bucky is hiring. You don't pay too bad. <laughs> that was like a what do you call it? A power power shopping spree. So, as you well know, we have dogs in the in the truck, so. What we did is we left the car running because it's 80 degrees right now and uh, got what we had like to me. get. Yeah, and then some. There you go. We opened the beaver nuggets. Oh my gosh. Can you tell me what it tastes like? What on earth is this processed food that tastes so magnificent? <laughs> Brown sugar, cornmeal, corn syrup, vegetable oil. All the, oh, it's got vegetable oil, so it's healthy for you. Sure. Oh, so good. I don't really have a comparison though, what it tastes like. Mmm. There's just goodness in a bag. All right, Stan wants to try mesquite peppered beef jerky. I'm gonna give this a try. But you gotta get on the freeway at the same time, so. I got this. Was your Bucky experience everything you thought it would be? It was quick, it was power shopping. Which might be better, because it's a little bit overwhelming. 
And then I think we could come out spending like hundreds of dollars. I mean, we have six grandkids. I'm like, oh my gosh, they all need a Bucky stuffed animal. So the question, to, the question is, this is sketchy. Dude. Oh, that's a good thing we have snatched. We get to taste a heck of a lot better than fingernails mm. when you go through this construction zone. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna, this truck is like. Yeah. So what we have learned that Texas is growing phenomenally. This is the Dallas Fort Worth north of Dallas Fort Worth we are staying in um, just outside of Prosper Texas seeing friends that we raised our families together back in Big Bear Lake California we did life together we did church together mm -hmm. we did worship together it's pretty pretty on the worship team huh? on the worship team mm -hmm. and it's pretty incredible how fast things are growing out here yeah this they've moved out here uh, about three years ago and they've seen a lot of changes in that amount of time and it's, it's crazy. I mean, it is, uh, well, our friend is the in, inspector, the plans, plan check, right? And the, he does like 300 houses a month. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. So there's so much growth, but the roads are being all added to, and it's just a mess. It's kind of confusing, right? A little bit. There's a lot of toll roads around in Texas mm -hmm. so we're trying to avoid them but this is what you get we ended up on a toll road I guess it's, what does it say? it's 15 minutes faster, faster this way so um, $1.59 yeah but we got three or four axles oh because so that's per axle 